Hey family, so today is such a busy day. I had so much things to do today. These videos are going to be <laughs> in parts. And I have only the same outfit. Today is day one of Clomid. I have to take two tablets, which is a hundred milligrams. So each tablet has 50 milligrams in it. And it will be my Clomid. I have been told and I read up on it. Clomid is more, Clomid has more side effects than Letrozole. But listen, Letrozole is not working for me. So Clomid it is. And I'm going to go ahead and take it. And I will give you guys a blow by blow in terms of my side effect, in terms of the side effects, my symptoms, and this entire process. Fun fact. So I went to the doctor today. I had to do the ultrasound, get the follicle scan. That's a whole separate video. I had to get my medication. And I had to sign for it. So, today was my last day signing my old name. I am now Jan David West. Alright guys, so, let me give you guys an update, okay? Life update. Pregnancy, IUI, journey update. So, I did Clomid for five days cycle day five through nine and it was way different from letrozole they prescribed me a hundred milligrams of clomid and for the first day cycle day five there was no symptoms because as soon as i took that medication i went straight to bed got up get ready for work and i didn't feel anything much because uh, one having to do with it was really busy and so my thoughts and concentration was elsewhere but I didn't have any symptoms on cycle day six however I was extremely tired me too <laughs> yeah, this clothing's really taking a toll <laughs> I was extremely tired and a little bit nauseated and I had like dry mouth other than that I was fine cycle day seven i was nauseated tired tightening of my um abdomen a little bit of like striking pains like period pains yeah but like like striking pains and also i was a little bloated just slightly um oh and i had a headache so i had a headache and that ran through cycle day seven and cycle day eight cycle day nine i felt like i wanted to throw up like everything was making me gag brushing my teeth even going behind wanted to gag it was great <laughs> i don't know truly it was a magical experience for both of us no and um extremely thirsty and i was a restless i couldn't sleep I, it was it was hard to rest I was fatigued I had mad headache and I was super bloated so that's it so compare me comparing Clomid to Letrozole Clomid I felt as though I had way more symptoms and I felt the symptoms more as opposed to Letrozole yes I had similar symptoms through cycle day 5 through 9 on 7.5 milligrams however i 
to get the symptoms was slight it was it was very minuscule very small right so that's my update for that then to pick up the ovidril what is ovidril for those who don't know baby Ovi make pills <laughs> ovidril is not a pill no ovidril is an injection it's a um, baby making shot <laughs> It's 250, I can't remember the, um, the, the measurement, but it's 250 liter um, units. Uh, or I want to say it was two, I think it's micro. Because yeah, I gave, micro. You, I gave you that shot last time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Micro seven. I mean, the needle on it's like It's that very big. small. Like, yeah. they made it to where like, because you're supposed to take it like apparently multiple times throughout like, the pregnancy. No, not the ovary drill. What the the ovary, so what the ovary drill is, is that it's a... That's okay. What the ovary drill is, is that the ovary drill is a HGC hormone that tricks your body to say, hey, you're giving off the hormone, the pregnancy hormone, so it forces your eggs to drop in order for you to go through that ovulation process. So it baby stuff yeah so that's what we got and so the next step now is that I have an appointment on Thursday and the appointment will be an ultrasound to measure my follicles if I have mature follicles between the size of 19 21 and 25 then two days after I will take that all of your drill shot they will call me tell me the exact time to take the RV drill shot and then we would have to go into the doctor's office on Saturday where Grayson would have to give them a specimen of his little swimmers and then they're gonna treat it what is what is gonna say nothing that our viewers need to hear <laughs> and then they're gonna treat his swimmers and then Make them strong. Yeah. Give, so we only have healthy, super healthy spoon. And then, for want of a better word, I have to find in the the correct term. What is that process? But I call it. Is the correct term. It's, it's that's the correct term. Insemination is the correct term. And they are going to inseminate me with either a turkey based or two. <laughs> that's what I call it, or a catheter. They're probably going to use a catheter. So, what's this is our first time, I, and I don't want anyone to think because all this is going on. The whole reason why we're doing this is because Jay has a hard time getting pregnant, yeah. So, it's not like she's incapable of getting pregnant. This guy's been on the channel before, she's obviously discussed like our pregnancy journey throughout all this in between all of our shenanigans. So, this is a more solid step to basically, it's basically going to be a, more or less a guarantee. I wouldn't say that. I said more or less. It's not a complete guarantee. It's not a full hundred you're getting pregnant if you get this done. Yeah. But, you know, it's a much better chance than traditional conception. Yes, it is. Because it allows... It, um, it cancels out the process of the sperm having to swim up to my cervix to get to the egg in order for it to fertilize. It crosses that, that all together. It's only going to be all healthy sperm and then they're just going to put it as close as they can to my cervix. Um, so, to, my to put it in eggs. terms everyone can understand, it's like watering a tree from the top like if you water a tree from the very top, it's gonna hit the leaves, it's gonna hit everywhere. That's a chance to, you know, not get to the roots. But if you water a tree, a tree at the base, all the water's getting to where it needs to be. Well, that's a way that you could look at it. So, we're watering the tree at the base. <laughs> all right guys, so that is, to, that is it for today's video. If you liked today's content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yes, people. Ooh, and 
if you guys think listen i just want to add in here that i feel positive i feel extremely positive for this cycle and I, i'm getting a vibes that this cycle is going to work we are getting a vibes that this cycle is going to work well we're going through a lot of effort i got stabbed with a needle today for this baby <laughs> Comment down below by leaving a butterfly if you think that this cycle is our cycle where we can have our miracle baby number one. Comment down below. Well, guys, we love you very much and we hope you know tell somebody you love them today. You know, Aww. Be be the person you want somebody to be to you. Positivity right now. It's good stuff. I had a lot of coffee this morning. So, yeah. Yeah, we're good. All right, guys. As I said again, thank you so much for following us. Love you. Bye. Our life, our love, our story. story.